other is going to define his or her own data type is called user defined data type classes are not physical entity it is a logical entity what is object here there's nothing but the an instance of a class method is nothing but function that must start with the small letter hello to all a warm welcome to my new session on classes objects and methods i am revati from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysuru so dear student once again we are going to deal with what is class what is object and what is method in this session classes and object and what is a class in java that is what is the significant of classes in java then we are going to discuss what is object and the basic syntax to follow while defining object as well as defining a class how to declare the fields along with that method declaration creating objects as well as accessing class members so dear student this is very very important topic from the examination point of view here you can able to expect two mark question as well as you can able to expect seven or eight mark question and these are the basic concept you must know to write the program now at the beginning i am going to have classes and objects so what is class here class is example for user defined data type i repeat what is user defined data type that is nothing but the user is going to define his or her own data type is called user defined data type and this is nothing but the template or blueprint so here what is class class is nothing but the blueprint or the template and that describes the behavior as well as state of the object so dear student as i told here class is nothing but template or blueprint and that describes the behavior as well as state and if i consider any vehicle or any animal each animal will have own behavior as well as own property so here animals are nothing but the classes now what is object objects have states as well as behavior so here objects are nothing but the instance of class and each object must have state as well as behavior now if i consider the animal a dog has state that means dog has state what kind of state the color or name and breed as well as behavior so it may have tail barking as well as eating so these are the behavior so here what is object object is nothing but the instance of a class so dear student i hope you got the information about class as well as object so what is class class is nothing but the user defined data type that describes state as well as behavior so it's also called blueprint or template then what about object here objects are nothing but the instance of the class now i'm going to have what is a class in java that means if i consider java program what is class so here a class is a group of object in java classes are termed as group of object which have common properties so in java what is class that's nothing but the group of object and each object have common property so it is a template or 
it is a blueprint from which objects are created that means without class we cannot able to create object suppose if i want to create object first i want to define the class so it is a logical entity so here classes are not physical entity it is a logical entity and when i talk about class class must include following components that is it must have fields methods constructors nested class as well as interface anyway dear student i'm going to deal with what is fields methods constructors as well as nested class and interface in my next session but at present you must know that class includes fields so what is field here there is nothing but the data members along with that it includes methods as well as constructors nested class as well as interface moving further i'm going to have the object so what is object here there is nothing but the an instance of a class so here if i consider class class must have instance without class we cannot able to create instance so what is here instance there is nothing but the object a class is a template or blueprint from which we are going to create a object suppose if i want to create object then what i must have i must have class with the help of class i can able to create object object is the instance or result of a class that means if i want to access any field or member which is present in the class i required object with the help of object i can able to access members as well as field now object defines an object is a real world entity so here objects are always going to represent real world entity and objects are created during execution time or during run time for that reason it is called run time entity the object is an entity which has state as well as behavior now if i consider any kind of object that must have state as well as behavior then object is an instance of the class so object is nothing but the instance or variable of a class now i'm going to have basic syntax that how to create class so here case sensitive that means if i consider any java program java programs are called case sensitive that means upper case letters as well as lower case letters are treated as different so java is a case sensitive which means identifier hello and hello are different for example if i write number and small letter number both are different because java is case sensitive programming language and suppose if i want to write class name while defining user defined class name the first letter of class name must be capital letter so it is upper case letter for example think that i'm going to write my first java program so what i will do i'm going to write program name first prg see here it is capital letter and even i can able to capitalize this p also so here i'm going to have the example my first java class so what i did here here my is capital letter f is capital letter j is capital letter as well as c is capital letter and method name that means all the method names should start with a lower case letter that means if i consider 
any method so here what is method method is nothing but function that must start with this small letter for example i'm going to start with the curly brace and if i write add so here this function must be start with the lower case letter now see here i'm going to have the keyword public void my method name so the first letter of my method must be small letter and remaining letter may be small letter or capital letter this is the example for method name now program file name so the program file name must be same as your class name for example i have created first program that is the class name and the file name here is program that is file first program so file name is first prg dot java so here if i consider this example my first java program is the class name so what is the program name that is my first java program dot java now public static void main so java program processing starts from the public static void main that means the execution of the program starts from public static void main so these are the points i need to remember while writing java program now i'm going to have the syntax for defining a class so here a class is a user defined data type with a template that serves to define its property so here i'm going to have the general form i know what is class class is nothing but the user defined data type or the blueprint or template and to create class i must follow the rules so dear student at the beginning i must start with the keyword class then i'm going to specify the class name and if i'm going to inherit the property of another class in that time i'm going to use extends keyword and super class name inside that i'm going to have field declaration as well as method declaration now dear student let me to write simple class here so as i discussed i'm going to start with the keyword class and i'm going to specify the class name that is first p r g and i'm going to start with the curly brace here i'm going to write the fields so it is int roll number then character name of 50 then i'm going to write void add so this is all about class definition so here class includes two fields that is field as well as methods that is nothing but field declaration as well as method declaration so here int and character both are the example for field declaration as well as here add as nothing but the example for method declaration now let me to consider the field declaration that means how can i declare fields in my class so data is encapsulated in a class by placing data field so what is data encapsulation that is nothing but the data abstraction i want to provide this security for my data and how that can be achieved by using access specifier similarly data is encapsulated in a class by placing data fields inside the body of the 
class definition. So these variables are instance variables as they are created when an object of the class is initialized. So here what is my class name that is rectangle. So I started with class keyword and rectangle is my class name. Now here I'm going to have two fields that is int length as well as int breadth. Now I'm going to have the method declaration. So a class with only data field has no life. That means if I write or if I define fields in my class, then it does not have any life. But when I use those fields in my method or in my class, then it's going to have the life. The objects are created by a class cannot respond to any message. That means without body, even though if I created object, but still it's not going to respond to any message. So first I need to create the methods and to create the method I'm going to have the syntax that is first I'm going to have the data type that's nothing but the return type along with that I'm going to have the method name along with that I'm going to have the parameter list along with that I'm going to have the method body. Now let me to write one simple example. For example, think that I'm going to return a value and it's of type integer and my function name is add and it's going to take two argument that is int a and int b. Now if I write int x Okay, then x equal to a, y equal to b, then return x plus y. It's going to return the integer value. This is the way I can able to write the methods in my class. Now let me to consider how to create a object. So how can I create the object? What are the procedure I need to follow? So a class provides the blueprints for the object. Now class includes fields as well as methods. Now this class provides blueprint for objects. So an object is created from a class. Just to understand this concept. Class includes fields and methods. So it provides the blueprint for object. Now object is created. That means with the help of object I can able to access fields as well as members. So an object is created from a class. Now in Java the new keyword is used to create object. Suppose if I want to create any object then I want to use new keyword. Now let me to write the syntax how to create an object. So first I want to write the class name then object name equal to new this is operator or new keyword along with that I'm going to write the class name. So this is the syntax for an object creation. Now here I'm going to have the example. So what is my previous class name that is rectangle. What is the object name here that is rect1. See here. With the new operator, I'm going to create the object. See here, once again, I'm going to call the same class name. But I want to place the parenthesis here. So this is the way I can able to create an object. Now, accessing class members. How can I access the class members? To access the class members, 
in java i'm going to use dot operator all the variables must be assigned values before they are used from outside the class we cannot access instance variable value before they are used now think that in my class i'm having certain fields so here fields are nothing but the variables now i want to use those variables or i want to access those variables or i want to access those methods how can i access for that i'm going to have the dot operator so first i'm going to write the object name along with that i'm going to assign the value now object name method name object name variable name so here first first program i created two fields that is name as well as roll number now i want to access the roll number as well as name first i'm going to create the object for first program so i'll make it f p equal to new first p r g first p r g now f p dot roll number f p dot student f p dot run or display so this is the way i can able to call the members as well as fields in my program so what i required here i required object name along with the field name or object name along with the method name and with the help of dot operators i can able to accessing class members as well as fields now let me to explain one simple program here so here what is the class name that is student now what are the field i'm going to include here that is roll number that is nothing but the id as well as string name now this is my first class what is my next class that is class student in this i'm going to write the main program now the actual execution of the java program is going to start from main method and it does not return any value for that reason it is void and to invoke main function i does not required any object for that reason it is static and it is globally available for that reason it is public inside that i'm going to create the object to create the object what i want to do i want to use class name that is student and my object name here is s1 equal to new operator that means to create object i'm going to use new operator along with that i'm going to write the class name now with the help of object and with the help of dot operator i'm going to call the field that is s1 dot id equal to 101 and s1 dot name equal to i'm going to assign the value now i want to print id as well as name so what i will do i'm going to use system dot out dot print ln then s1 dot name this is the way i can able to assign the values to the fields or members now suppose in my class if i am having any function for example i'll write void display function and if i want to access this function in my program and how can i access that is with the help of s1 dot display okay this is the way i can able to call 
members so to call the members i required object along with the dot operator and method name so this is the simple program to create a class to create an object and to make use of fields as well as this is for methods now dear student in my today's class you got information about what is class what is object as well as methods now in my next session i'm going to deal with constructors in java rules for creating java as well as type of java constructor dear student i did not explain what is method because all are familiar with the methods because you studied what is method or functions in your lower classes in the sense in your c programming or c++ programming so i did not explain basic of methods so dear student in my today's session you got more information about classes objects as well as methods let's meet in the next session with some more information about class objects as well as methods until then keep learning and keep watching thank you